Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna show you how I edit this photo. So let's start with a blank copy. So the first thing I always do is I adjust my exposure. So this picture is looking a little bit dark, but just because it's looking a little bit dark, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna raise up the exposure to brighten it. Because in this case, what I wanna do is I'm gonna raise the shadows. Because you can see this part up here is already so bright. So if I raise the exposure, it's just going to overexpose that even more. So I'm going to start by raising the shadows up all the way to 100. And if we need to, we can bring it down after we're done adjusting everything else. Going forward from here, I'm noticing there's actually a little bit too much exposure going on over here. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Maybe just like around half a stop. And going from here, we can see that the blacks are looking kind of gray. And that is due to the raising of the shadows. When you raise the shadows up a lot, it puts a lot of gray into the blacks. So to compensate, what you want to do is you're going to drop the blacks down. And as you can see, like if I drop it really low, obviously I'm not going to put it there. But it makes the blacks look really rich. So that's how you can fix that grayness in the photo. So put it like... Going forward from here, I have a white car, so I pretty much always just raise the whites just to make it a little bit more poppy. So, hmm, that's too much, so maybe around like right here. And right now, the image is looking a little bit too warm, I'd say. So, because you can see this part over here is blue, but I this part is just looking too warm. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit just to make the image seem a little bit more cool. So probably like right there. And I don't usually mess with the tint. I'm going to leave the contrast alone. The highlights, we can bring that down around to 53, I'd say. Alright. And then dehaze, as you can see, like it strongly affects the sky a lot but it almost gives it like an unrealistic look. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit, just to put a little bit more emphasis on the clouds. And then I'm gonna raise my clarity to, let's do like, so if you go too much, I like it, but it doesn't look real. So I'll put it at like that. I know I use a lot of clarity, some people don't like that, but it's kind of just like a style. Let's see. All right, everything is looking good up here so far. Now, it seems like there's a lot of blue in the photo, as you can see. And that's because we moved the temperature over, but also it's just because of probably the settings that were in my camera. So I'm just gonna suck, oh, not the hue. I'm gonna come down to saturation to blue and I'm gonna suck the saturation out. And you can see that fixes it drastically. And perhaps it might be just a little bit too much. Uh, I actually kind of like the look it gives. We'll leave it right there for now. And then um, the greens, I want them to be in the image, but they just look kind of faded, so I'm going to boost the saturation up to 100, and it doesn't even change it a whole lot, but I like the way it looks at 100. And that's all I'm going to do for saturation. For the hues, um, I don't like how it looks kind of orange. I like my taillights to look kind of reddish, so I'm just going to shift it over. Mm, that's too much, probably like right there and I think that's all I'm gonna change for hue because I like where the yellow is at in the sky it contrasts with the taillights really nice so I'm gonna leave it actually and that's all I'm gonna do for color let's see um, a lot of times I like to inject some color into the highlights and the shadows but I think in this image it's just not gonna fit this uh, fit the vibe that I'm going for um, I almost always use noise reduction, it just kind of kind of smoothens the photo out. If you use too much, it looks kind of weird. 
but like right around there is good. And I'm pretty sure my ISO was really low, yeah, like 125, so I don't even really have a whole lot of noise in the photo. And going forward from here, let's see, you're not gonna change anything here. I always like to add some vignetting, but not a whole lot because I don't like it to start giving it that like overly look. I feel like it gives it like a cheapish edit kind of look. Like unprofessional, I guess. Right there, it looks good. And as you can see already, we've made. Oops. Well, I was trying to show the before, but it's just showing the copy here. So that's what we started with, and this is where we're at right now. And this is what we're trying to get to. And as you can see, the biggest difference right now between this and this is the darkness in the sky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to graduated filter, to the mask, and my settings for this are gonna be, I'm just gonna slightly drop down the exposure just a little bit. Well, first let's draw it and see how it's going to look, and then we'll start playing with it. Alright. And then, let's see. Whenever, yeah, see, whenever you do the clarity, it gives you that nice stormy look, so I like to do that sometimes. And then there's not a whole lot of color in it. I, yeah, if we take the saturation, it looks kind of weird. So we'll leave that. And then I think the temperature is okay. All right, and that's pretty much it for this photo. And actually, I'm seeing something else that I want to add that I didn't do the first time. And everything looks like really visible in the photo except my Subaru emblem so a little trick that I like to do in my photos and I actually learned this from Summit SS on Instagram he uses it on his brake calipers but I decided to apply the same uh, method over here so I'll put the density at like 25 drop the size down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to boost the saturation I'm going to boost the exposure a little bit. Let's see how it's gonna look like. Oops. There we go. And let's see the mass here. And as I color this in, now let's see. If I zoom out, you can see how much of a difference that makes. This is what it looked like before, just completely black. And when I raise the exposure, raise the saturation, and we can even put some red in it. Yeah, that made a really big difference. And it's looking too pinkish, so I'm going to shift the temperature to the left. Or maybe I need to shift a little bit. And yeah, we'll just leave it. And I think that's good. There we go. And that's how I edited this photo. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. It's azim.brz. And you can also follow my new media account that I started, Brownie Media. Drop a like, comment, and thank you for your support. Have a great day.